Let's take the derivative of this function. g of y is equal to ln of 2y plus 1 to the fifth power over square root of y squared plus 1. And notice that this function is in terms of y, so we are not doing the implicit differentiation. So the y in this case is just like the x. Before we go, we should take a look at this expression and to see how much you can simplify. The entire thing right here is inside of the natural log. So what we can do is, as we can see, we have a fraction. We can break this apart as a subtraction of natural log of the first minus the natural log of the bottom one. So I'm going to write this down. ln of 2y plus 1 raised to the fifth power. That's the numerator. And because we have a fraction, we can subtract the natural log of the denominator. But then as usual, let's look at square root s to the one half power in calculus. Let me put this as the natural log of y squared plus 1. Instead of the square root, I can write that as the one half power. And when I do that, as we see that the power can go to the front. And this is by one of the log property. It's not the power rule when we're doing the derivative. So this right here, this is going to be phi natural log of 2y plus 1. Don't put a 4. Do not put a 4 right here. Just bring the power to the front. That's it. Minus, bring the 1 half to the front, and then you have the ln y squared plus 1. Just like this. So we apply the log property as much as we can, and this is what we have. And still, this is g of y. It's just the function. And once again, the y is just like the x in our situation. We are not doing the implicit differentiation because the function is defined by using the variable y. So to do that, when we are taking a derivative, let me put this down as d dy. Okay, d dy. And we are going to get g prime of y. Okay, and do not multiply by dy dx. Do not multiply by dy dx. That's it. The y is just like the x in the other situations. Anyways, take a look of this part. To differentiate this, we can just write down the phi first. And then to take the derivative of ln of 2y plus 1, it's going to be 1 over the inside, which is 2y plus 1. Put that on the denominator. And then look at what's inside which is 2y plus 1, and think about what the derivative of that is, which is just the 2, right? Derivative 2y with respect to y is equal to 2. Derivative of 1 is equal to 0, so we just need a 2. Minus 1 half ln of this, the derivative of that will be 1 over the inside, which is y squared plus 1, and now let's look at the inside. y squared plus 1, when you take the derivative of this with respect to y, you are going to get 2y, and then the derivative of 1 is 0, so it doesn't matter. And this is pretty much the calculus part. And then the rest is just put the things up together. This is on the top, that's on the top. 5 times 2 is equal to 10 over 2y plus 1. And we we'll continue with minus here. This two and that two cancel each other out. I can put a y on the top as well. Y over y squared plus one. And I think this is the most that we can do. And this is the answer in the back of the book as well.